All right, so let's take a look at question number five. Um, and what we're asked to do is determine the measure of angle H. So I'm just going to mark that here with one tick. That's the angle H. And what we are looking to do is what kind of law are we gonna, would we use to solve this question, okay? Would we use the cosine law or would we use the sine law, okay? So in the previous question, the cosine law we were asked to find the measure of an angle, okay, and we knew the two rays or the two sides coming off of that angle. So this question is actually kind of similar to that. So we do know the lengths coming off of point H. It's 12.2 and 17.2. But what we don't know is the measure of the length directly across from angle H. So that's a problem because the cosine law, if we're asked to find a measure of the unknown angle, we would have to know the lengths of the other three sides or the three sides in the triangle. So in this case, we don't have that. So the cosine law isn't going to work, which means by default, it must be the sine law. So the sine law is just a series of ratios of angles to sides in which we um, make them equivalent and then we can solve for for the unknown pieces so if we take a look at what we've got here um, we have an, a measure of an angle 75 which is directly across from a known length of 17.2 so that's one of our angle side pairs now does that apply to the unknown angle h which is what we would like to find right away and again we can say the h is the unknown but we do not know what the length of that opposite side is so we can't set up a sine law pair directly with angle h but what we do know is we have the length directly across from um, angle j okay so i'm going to mark here angle j um, with another uh, just with two slashes to mark, indicate that it's different so now we could figure out the missing angle j first because we then we have an angle an unknown angle plus this the length opposite okay the side opposite there so that's an angle side pair and then we have a known angle side pair so if we make those two equivalent we can calculate the unknown angle j and then to get angle h we can simply just use that the sum of angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees. Okay, so if we set this up, this is how we can do it here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write my first angle side pair down. Okay, so it's, we set it up as a ratio. It doesn't matter what you use top or bottom as long as you're consistent. So I'm gonna put the angle on top. So sine 75 over 17.2. And that's going to be equal to sine J, which is the angle of J that we don't know, but it's opposite the side of 12.2. Okay, so we just do some simple cross multiply um, and we're going to isolate the variable, which is sine j by itself. So we will go 12.2 times sine of 75 divided by 17.2 is equal to sine j. All right, and so if we work that on our calculator, your trig functions, you will see that this is 0 0.6851 which is sine j. Okay, now like we did in question four, we don't want sine j, what we want is angle j. So we need to take the inverse sine of that value, 0.6851, and angle j will be equal to 43 degrees. Now that is not our final answer, unfortunately, because what we actually have to do is find angle h. So angle h is one more step, it's going to be 180, which is the sum of angles in the triangle, minus 43, minus the known angle, 75. When we do all that together, we'll find out that angle H is 62. So the final answer that you would write down for this question would be angle H is 62 degrees. So in order to do this correctly, you have to do two steps. Um, you have to find the unknown angle um, for a quantity that the question doesn't ask for and then use a property like sum of 
angles in a triangle equals 180 degrees in order to calculate the, the third missing side. Okay, now once we know angle H, the, there could be an extension to this question is you could be asked to calculate the length of the side opposite to angle H, in which case you could just reapply the sine law again um, and solve for the unknown side. So it is possible that there could have been a, a second part to this question or to, to do that. Okay, so that's how you would uh, set up and solve that problem.